Ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is Meng Sa, uh, and it is at long last time for another Impossible Advanced Wars Challenge. The series where I make seemingly unbeatable Advanced Wars Challenges, and then some random smartass on the internet beats it in like two hours and makes a video about it. And not only that, like, people end up routing the maps, you know, which are like defense maps. So that, that that's always a lot of fun, but this time, ladies and gentlemen, I believe I have finally created an unwinnable challenge. I don't think there is a way for you guys to beat this one. So for this one, we're going back to the original Advanced Wars. Mostly because I want to show off something that I found really cool and that I learned in one of Ephraim's videos that he uploaded a while ago. I was not aware that this is the case. Did you guys know that in the original Advanced Wars, and only the original Advanced Wars, if you go to the pre-deployed battles, the unit loadout that you start with is actually dependent on your CO. Yeah? So let's uh, load up this map here, which will be the challenge of the day. Let's load up Andy. You can see he starts with one tank, one artillery, one recon, two mechs, two infantry, and an APC. It's a pretty, like, balanced uh, loadout. However, if we select Grit, for example, and we load the same map, you can see that Grit starts with two artillery. He actually doesn't start with any tanks at all. If we load up, say, Sturm's lineup, let's see what he starts with. He starts with uh, the same loadout as Andy, it seems. Uh, but, for example, let's say we load out Sami. She tends to start with more infantry. And you can see that she indeed actually starts with more infantry. She starts with four mechs, three infantry, and artillery and a recon. It's a cool little detail that I don't think a lot of people are aware of. And, indeed, I wasn't even aware of it right away. And as I said, it's not, like, super relevant for the challenge. I just kind of wanted to show it off. The challenge of today is going to be a 1 versus 3 pre-deployed battle. We're playing as Nell for no other reason than I wanted to make the fun meme thumbnail that <laughs> you've seen on this video and are probably getting a lot of comments about. It's Nell versus Olaf, Eagle, and Kumbai. They're all allied against her, and she has to somehow overcome this impossible challenge. Um, I'm going to be uploading a save file to the Discord download station linked in the video description and the pinned comment section. You can go visit that, get the save file, it will automatically load in these settings so you know that you're doing it right. But if you have an Wars one and you just want to do it yourself, these are the settings that we're going to be using. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, we'll turn on the animations just for fun, just for the sake of the video, but I'll leave them off otherwise. Here is the challenge. You are Nell. You're up against Olaf, Kumbai, and Drake. And uh, you have to somehow win. The HQs are all in the center, including your CACO or your HQ right here. So you can't just turtle in the corner. You have to actively go out and prevent the enemy from capturing your HQ. You might also be able to pull off an HQ cap, although I don't think it's very likely, because as you'll see, the, the AI is actually pretty aggressive on this map. But I'm going to try it anyway, just to see if I can pull it off. Now, we do have the advantage of going first, which is, of course, always nice. Uh, Olaf has a tank right here, so uh, we could bait that with something. But let's move the mech into the mountains and see what we can pull off here. So, all of these enemy CEOs are allied against you. So you're going to have to deal with all three of them. And if you just sit idly by, they will capture your HQ. Here comes Eagle. He goes for our tanks right away. And Nell is very sad. And of course, Kumbai is always a monster in pre-deployed. So he's going to be sort of the final boss. Now, again, you may think going for an HQ cap is viable here. And, I mean, that's like the one strategy I can see someone pulling off if they're able to do an HQ cap. Um, but as you can see right here, there's recons here. I I don't see any way that you're able to get these HQs unless you play really well. So, let's just pound Eagle a little bit and see what we can do. There we go. And let's pull... Okay, so our tank took some damage, which is not good. Um, we could, like, maybe try and trick with an APC. Like, we could try and do this, maybe? Okay, so I might have an idea here, so... What if we do this, put the infantry here, tank here, and then we go for the cap. And then maybe we put the put the recon right here. 
Let's see if this works, shall we? It could. Could potentially work. But it's gonna be really difficult. But even if we take out one HQ, I think the other two armies will still murder us. Because, again, taking out an HQ only eliminates that one army. There's still two other armies that you have to contend with. So here comes the recons. There we go. And there's no time limit, so you, the only way you can win this battle is to rout the enemy. So here comes the recon. It looks like I might actually be able to capture the HQ of Olaf. But again, that only elim eliminates one third of the enemy. Yeah, actually, I don't think Kambai will be able to interrupt this. So yeah, because they move on different initiatives. Ooh, okay, come by, come by, protect this HQ. That's actually pretty funny. All right, so let's capture here and eliminate Olaf. There we go. All right, so now we only have come by an eagle left, but of course, uh, most of our troops are damaged and our HQ is exposed here. So, I think the best thing we can do in this situation is probably just to bunch up our units right here. Uh, our tank is injured, which is not good. We can maybe try and attack the artillery, but it's probably, yeah, this is just gonna heal up, so I don't know if this will really work. Uh, so I guess we'll try and protect ourselves by doing this. But, like, as you can see, right, camping an HQ is no guarantee of success at all. It kind of just... You know, you still have a big problem here. You're, you're gonna have to camp at least two of the HQs to have a chance here. And even then, I mean, okay, if you can capture two HQs, you're probably in a good spot. But you still have to deal with the third CO, who will probably outnumber you. Maybe if you can get Combi's HQ early, maybe, because he's the scariest of the three. But as you can see right here, like, I'm still gonna get decimated by the remaining enemy army. Alright. Let's see. So... We've lost our HQ. We can try and capture this HQ, but it's probably not gonna work. So let's just shield our own HQ and see what happens here. I'm not sure if you'll ever see Nell's power come in. It's 30,000 funds, so you're gonna have to lose a lot of units to get it. Same thing with Eagle. I think you're gonna get, you're gonna be hard pressed to see many CO powers here. And looks like Combi just interrupted our cap, so that's not gonna work. And we don't have any tanks left. And our artillery goes down to one health. We still have some mechs remaining, which may work, but yeah, there we go. AI likes to finish off units whenever it can. Okay, what if we kill... We can maybe take down Combi's artillery if we focus fire it with the mechs. Oh my god, combi artillery on an HQ is really hard to kill. But we might be able to do it with the power of luck right here. Ah, no, no. Not quite, not quite. And then maybe we put this mech right here. And we attack combi right here. We actually almost have our power. But yeah, that eagle artillery is uh, really bothersome. There we go, we lost our mech. So now we have uh, not many units left at all. Yeah, Combat's gonna focus our mechs right now. We do have our tank at the HQ. And it's gonna be hard for them to kill that tank. I don't, yeah, Kombai's gonna keep going for our regain. Com like, when Kombai gets to occupy his own HQ, it's gonna be really, really hard to get him. Actually, no, he's on Green Earth's HQ right now. Yeah, I mean, we will actually get, <laughs> I think I think if we let just destroy our own recon, we can pop a Lucky Star here. That might be the only way to defeat this. 
Let's do it. Lucky me. Now, fun fact about Nell, her HP is actually, like, HP doesn't reduce luck values in Advanced Wars 1. So these mechs still have 100% of her luck value. Um, however, if you don't deal any damage, like if you deal less than, I think, 3% damage, then it won't work. So as you can see right here, Nell hits really hard with her, uh, with her luck damage. So it looks like our mechs are gonna go bye-bye now. And we just simply don't, like, now we're in range of, uh, yeah, now we're in range of a bunch of artillery. Wow, Kambai actually just suicided his own tanks. Kamikaze tanks right here. So, if we just keep the tank at the HQ, like, if we were able to somehow defeat all the artillery, then maybe we could have done something here. But at the moment, we're just gonna get pounded by artillery, and then combine mechs are gonna tear us a new one right here, so... Yep. And wow, even going with the recons, going for the luck damage against Nell, what an insult. Oh wow, even, even Kombai goes with the recons, but uh, that might just be enough to get the tank down. Oh wow, he's not even attacking. But yeah, like this artillery will destroy me next turn, so even if I move away, that just means one of the COs are gonna capture my HQ, and there we go. And ladies and gentlemen, I believe that is a defeat. So, do you think you can pull off this challenge? Do you, ladies and gentlemen? Do you think what it uh, you, do you think you have what it takes to beat the triple threat nail challenge? I'm going to be excited to see what kind of strategies you guys can come up with. I think this one's going to be hard. Not impossible maybe, but but hard. Very, very hard. So, there we go. Eagle captures the HQ, and with that, it's a defeat. So, check out the save file in the download station. And let's see if you can defeat this impossible challenge. Or if it truly is unbeatable. My name is Ben Mengs. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.